Hello Goobers! My name is Karen and I'm going to tell you how to run a successful book drive in just seven easy steps. Step one, don't start planning until about a week and a half before the book drive is set to begin. It's important to procrastinate until the very last minute so that you put yourself under a lot of pressure and all you want to do is cry. Step two, whenever you have to make an important phone call asking for book donations, cry. You might be able to see a running theme here, but let's just keep going and see if it lets up. Step three, Step four, profit. Mm, money. Now you'd think, yay, profit, happy ending. No, that is not how you run a successful book drive. In order to run a successful book drive, there needs to be a lot more tears. Step five, cry, because you have 7,000 books inside your basement. Seven. I don't think I can convey to you the sheer amount of space that 7,000 books take up. That's a couple hundred boxes. A couple hundred boxes that I helped carry down into my basement and then helped carry back up out of my basement. That's a lot of carrying. All the muscle I have is attributed to Accio books. It's there, I promise. It just doesn't show up as well on my laptop webcam. And you know what the best part about this book drive is? It's giving the books away. And not because it's heartfelt and emotional and inspiring. It's because I don't have to deal with them anymore. And they will no longer be in my basement. Ah, you can actually see my basement floor. Step six, make more important phone calls. Hi, my name is Karen, and I'm looking to donate books to your organization. Excellent. Yeah. How many boxes will you take? Two? You sure? Not three? Four? J just two. Okay. Yeah, that's great. Okay. Goodbye. You wouldn't think giving away books would be an issue, but that's a problem that we've run into. And that's how you can tell the successful book drives apart. Step 7. Continue crying because a month and a half later there are still a hundred boxes left in your basement. In conclusion, there's a lot of crying. Disclaimer for those of you who don't already know, I did not actually run this book drive all by myself. Fellow goobers Yara and Kelsey were my co-organizers and the team of Edmonton Potter Watch helped a great deal to make the 7,000 books in my basement horrifyingly possible. Okay, but seriously, I'm going to show you a picture of what 4,000 books in my basement looked like, and then you're going to have to double it in your head and see what I've been living with for the past three months. <laughs> I did it! I filmed a video! Ah! P.S. We've recently invited a friend of ours named Caitlin to start making videos, but she has not done that yet. So Caitlin, I challenge you to make an introductory video like us goobers did a year ago, answering all of the same questions that we did. And then also to make whatever videos please you, because I have a feeling that you're a great vlogger. But not too great, because as is vlog goober tradition, we need to be incredibly bad at making videos.